Hello, welcome to the eighth assumption about regression diagnostics in STATA, and that is influential data or influential observation, what we often call uh, outliers. So here we focus on um, values that are not normal or not that are extreme. Um, so unusual values of the dependent variable or the independent variable can be influential. If their inclusion or exclusion can change the res regression result uh, drastically, okay? So if that changes, then we have to be concerned. But if, if, if you delete one and the result does not change, you just leave them as they are. So if val values are influential, they can uh, influence our beta values or slope coefficients, the standard errors and R squared, okay? So we have three ways to check for influential values in STATA. And the first approach is what we call the Cook's distance approach, where we, we want to see the entire, the effect of an observation on the entire model. Um, and the second approach is to look at the effect of an observation on each of the X variables. Okay, and the third approach is to look at a combination, the effect of the combination of uh, unusual values on the X variables. So this video will focus on the first approach and each in the next videos we will cover the rest. Okay, so the Cook distance approach, as we said, is focusing on the entire model. Um, so we have two ways to check for influential observation and this data. And the first approach is to uh, look at an absolute cutoff point of one. So if we calculate the Cook distance and for each observation and the value is greater than um, one, then we can conclude that this observation is influential, all right? And this method is what is recommended by Mehmetoglu and uh, Jacobsen. And the second approach is adjust for size. So in terms of observation, number of observations, we should take that into consideration. Therefore, we have to divide four by uh, number of observations. So if we have 74 observations, we divide this four by 74. And then look at the Cook distance values that are greater than this result. And we conclude that they are influential. All right, how to do that in STATA? We uh, follow these steps. First, run your regression model, and we will continue to use the automobile data set. Then we will predict Cook's distance, and then we can graph or just list the Cook distance value per respondent or ID. So the third step approach is to then revise our regression model by <laughs> removing some values if we detect that some influential data exists, all right? And then we will then got the correct model. Okay, let's get to STATA and do that. So I have my STATA here uh, open. I start with the DUFA. So here we look at cook distance way of checking influential observations. So as before, we just run this to load the data and we also run the full model. Um, and then next we will then check for the cook distance. Okay, I'm going to predict cook distance based on the regression I have performed. And next I will then graph the cook distance. So I can just do these two. All right, so the command is cook distance. This is what we use to produce the cook distance. And I use this um, spelling. I can use any kind of variable name, but a new variable be, be, will be uh, produced. And I'll then use that one to graph. So let's do the two. And I'm saying make, make is a um, respondent, uh, the car for each car. So we have that. 
So um, I will uh, run these two commands and I'll get the graph, you see? So these are the cook distance um, for each of the cars, for each of the IDs, each of the respondents. And you see that all of them are below 0 0.4. We said that if the value is greater than one, then we will consider them to be influential. So here we don't have influential uh, values. We can sort and list them and see how they are. Uh, so I'm going to see. So here I've said list. So these are all the values. Here we just sort them from uh, smallest to the highest. And you can see that this car has the greatest value, but it's less than one. So it's not a problem. The second approach is to consider the size. So the size is to divide four by n. And here n is number of observation. How do I know that? You can see that below here, number of observation is 474. So if I calculate in stated display four, divided by 74, then I'll get 0 0.054. So, and I'll see which values are greater than this, and I'll consider them to be influential, okay? And from this car, from this fault, all these are uh, influential, uh, they produce influential values because they are greater than 0 0.05. Okay, that is the size adjusted approach. So I could just say list, make cars if this is greater than. So they'll give me only those that are greater than the, the result here. Okay, greater than 0 0.4. So you see them, they list them up here. And also, um, I can also use GSOX. So here is another way. And then here they'll give me in uh, ascending order descending order from the greatest to the, the lowest. Before is from lowest to the highest. So whichever way you want to produce it. All right. So based on um, the second approach, we see that many cars are influential. Okay, they have influential values. But as recommended, we'll focus on the first approach when none of the values is greater than one. Okay, so the first approach is recommended. So this is how we test for influential observation using Cook's distance approach. In the next video, we will consider the second approach called DB, DFB beta. Okay.